Here, we'll have a closer look at non-metal oxides and how they behave in water. Non-metal oxides are oxides of elements on the right side of the staircase on the periodic table. Remember, non-metal oxides react with water to form acidic solutions. We'll consider the non-metal oxide sulfur trioxide, SO3. Non-metals have electronegativity values closer to that of oxygen than metals have. So non-metal oxides are not ionic solids like metal oxides are. Instead, the atoms are joined by covalent bonds, where electrons are shared. At room temperature, SO3 is a liquid. When it dissolves in water, it reacts with water and through a series of reactions, forms sulfuric acid, H2SO4. The Lewis structure for sulfuric acid is shown here. If you check, you will see that sulfur, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms are all conserved in this reaction. When H2SO4 is in water, the molecule of H2SO4 will collide with the water molecule and donate a proton to it, forming a hydrogen sulfate ion and a hydronium ion. Because hydronium ions are present, the solution will be acidic. Now we'll look at a few equations we can write for non-metal oxides reacting with water. When we are considering the reactions of non-metal oxides with water, we usually stick to writing formula equations for these reactions. We'll look at some of the common ones here. The formula equation summarizing the example we just went over is sulfur trioxide, or SO3, reacts with water to produce H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. The other common oxide of sulfur, sulfur dioxide, SO2, reacts with water to produce H2SO3, or sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid is a weak acid. A common oxide of nitrogen is nitrogen dioxide, NO2. This reacts with water to produce both nitric acid, HNO3, which is a strong acid, and nitrous acid, HNO2, which is a weak acid. An oxide of the non-metal chlorine, dichlorine monoxide, Cl2O, reacts with water to produce the weak acid, HOCl, hypochlorous acid. This is an equilibrium reaction. Oxides of the other halogens have similar reactions with water. One of the common oxides of phosphorus, P4O6, reacts with water to produce the weak acid H3PO3, phosphorous acid. Another oxide of phosphorus, P4O10, reacts with water to produce the weak acid H3PO4, phosphoric acid. You should be familiar with these reactions, especially the reactions for the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. You should also know that non-metal oxides are also called acidic anhydrides, or simply acid anhydrides. It's important to remember that non-metal oxides or acid anhydrides react with water to produce acidic solutions. <laughs>